San Antonio, home to the Riverwalk, the Alamo, Six Flags, Hill Country, and Church's Chicken? I love Church's Chicken. Here are 10 random facts that I bet you didn't know, or maybe you did, about San Antonio. <music> Hey y'all, Ariel from View Homes here, and we actually build homes in the greater San Antonio area. We normally make videos about home, real estate, and home building, but we thought we'd change it up today and share some facts that you may not know about the city we love. And we already hinted at it, so let's just start off with my favorite. Church's Chicken. Church's Chicken first location opened in San Antonio in 1952 and was actually across the street from the Alamo. Remember the Alamo and eat some chicken. That's what I always say. Really though, there are lots of great chicken chains in the U.S. nowadays. Is Church's your favorite? If not, let us know. I want to know. I need to know. Interesting fact number two, let's keep this food train going and talk. Chips. Fritos and Frito Pie were both invented in San Antonio. Bet you didn't know that one, because I didn't know that one. Charles Doolin invented Fritos in 1932, and his mother Daisy allegedly invented the Frito Pie years later. I mean, I'll give her credit. You can't hardly go to a high school football game in Texas without seeing Frito pie. Mm, thank God for Daisy. Number three, why should we stop this food chain? I love food, let's do one more. Lanier High School holds the Guinness World Record for most tamales ever made. Now tamales are my favorite food. In December, 2011, 17,132 tamales were made there. The previous record was 13,000 tamales. People across the city were a part of this event created by the Lanier Culinary Program. Do you know how tedious it is to make tamales? That's insane. My Nana only lets me make like five. Number four, let's get off food, sadly. But let's talk about the Alamo Dome. The Alamo Dome first opened on May 15th, 1993 and cost $186 million to build. Now, the funny thing is, it was built to attract an NFL team. And we're still waiting. The Houston Texans, Dallas Cowboys, San Antonio Roadrunners, actually. The UTSA football team uses the stadium as their home stadium now. And the Spurs actually used this stadium for about nine years. And on top of that, a little interesting fact here, George Strait used the Alamo Dome for a concert in 2013. Love me some George Strait. And he set an attendance record that time for largest concert concert ever played in San Antonio. Of course he did, because he's George Strait. The attendance was 73,086 people. That's like my family reunion on my Mexican side. Number five, let's keep it in the sports realm. Did you know Shaq got his start in San Antonio? He played high school basketball at Cole High School and his team went 68 and one in two seasons. And they won the 1989 state championship. Honestly, he's just lucky I wasn't playing against him. I was a beast. Number six, we actually hold another Guinness World Record in San Antonio. The world's tallest cowboy boot structure. No, I'm not joking, only in Texas. These boots were not, in fact, made for walking. The famous boots outside of the North Star Mall are actually 35 feet tall and weigh more than 10,000 pounds. They were created by an Austin artist named Bob Daddio Wade and were replaced at the mall in January 1980, after a massive bidding war to get these boots actually. All right, number seven. The largest Mexican market outside of Mexico is the historic Market Square in San Antonio. This popular area has actually been around since the 1700s. They host all types of festive activities. Local retailers sell quality Mexican clothing and art. Locals like to say visiting the square is like leaving town for a couple of hours. All right, just a few more. Let's go to number eight. The Alamo is the most visited attraction in all of Texas. It attracts over two and a half million people annually. Sitting smack in the heart of a touristy downtown plaza, the site's actually kind of small if you visit. That said, you will immediately recognize the Mission Church where, for 13 days in March of 1836, a band of 188 Texian volunteers turned back the much larger army of the Mexican dictator Santa Ana, built by the Spanish in 1744, as Mission San Antonio del Valero. In 1905, the compound was saved by the Daughters of the Republic of Texas from becoming a hotel. And number nine, San Antonio is the most romantic city. 
Bet you didn't know that one. In 2019, ahead of Valentine's Day, the team at Prime Video looked at streaming data with cities of more than 100,000 residents to see which city streamed the most romance films in the past year. San Antonio, Texas led the pack. And actually, Texas as a whole had three additional cities in the top 10. Fort Worth at number four, Houston at number six, and of course, Dallas at number 10. Yes, there's a lot of lovebirds in Texas, and especially San Antonio. And lastly, number 10. We gotta bring it back to food. Gatorade was invented by San Antonio native Robert Cade. Cade was a professor of medicine at the University of Florida when he was doing research about the football team. He invented the drink with salt and sugar that was the basis of Gatorade, according to the University of Florida. And Cade was born in San Antonio in 1927. And that, my friends, are 10 random weird little known facts about our beloved city, San Antonio. But let's be real, there's lots more to know and love about San Antonio. So leave us some comments below about your favorite things in San Antonio. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.